This morning's coffee with us with Joan Cusack. And Sandline interview is furnished by Studio H24. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us from Chicago, Joan Cusack. How are you? Good. How are you? We're doing great. I just uh, told my co anchor, Lynn, who's uh, been doing the show with me for a year, my former partner, someone you had spoken with, Don Scott. Retired and is living the good life. I said, <laughs> Joan is one of the most laid back, easiest yeah. interviews going. And people ask me that. They'll say, You talk to celebrities all the time doing these satellite things. Who's, who's the most chilled? Not, it's almost always, well, Joan Cusack. You I mean you're right in the top five. Are you like that all the time? Wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I think it's like, it's kind of a luxury to be relaxed. <laughs> so with all my. You know, good fortune and being in, in this business, you know, you might as well just be relaxed. I don't just, you know, I don't, I don't disagree with you, but I think, I think I've interviewed you, honestly, I, I think like maybe four, five times, and you're just, you're just even level. You're, you're, you're calm waters. I like this. Yeah. Well, good. I, good. Might as well. Yeah. I mean, it's not brain surgery, it's just acting. That's right. I'm just pretending. <laughs> <laughs> the end of the, the, end, the end. Except for right now. I'm not pretending right now. But you know what? Pretending. It's really me. Pretending. It's really you. Pretending sounds so easy. But you, you and others make it look good. And you're at it again. The end of the tour. And what I love about this is the graphic. It's a tape and it makes the characters. That's it's, cool. It sets the scene. Let's mm -hmm. talk. Let's mm -hmm. talk about it this. It is cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tell me about the show. Yeah, I mean, I think he's, you know, he's such a fascinating person, David Foster Wallace. I mean, he's like a, I don't know if you guys know him that well, or, you know, some people just know him and they love him. You know, there's like a cult following for him. Um, but he's like a brilliant genius, you know, like Mozart kind of person. And so this movie has a little bit of, you know that Amadeus movie? Do you remember that one? Sure. With the uh, um, Soliari is sort of so jealous and fascinated by how does Mozart live and what does he do and what does he care about and and that it, there's a real similarity with this because this is David Foster Wallace and he's you know wrote this thousand page book and but what does he live like and what does he eat and you know what does he talk about and what does he think about fame and and they talk about all that stuff, and it's fascinating. The stars, Jesse Eisenberg and Jason Siegel, they're getting really a lot of buzz and a lot of great reviews for their work. So how was working with them? It was cool. I mean, I think, you know, with Jason Siegel, people think of him as funny, but they don't, you know, automatically think of him as being a really bright guy. Not that he, you think of him as being a dumb guy, but... And I think people think of David Foster Wallace as being this really bright guy and don't think of him as being a funny guy. And he he was really funny. And Jason's really smart, so it's sort of a cool intersection. This just sounds like, I mean, okay, was this a project that when you heard about it, you said, I'm in? Was there any trepidation? Was it one of those, oh, no, this is too cool to pass up? You know, I met the director on Shameless. He did an episode of Shameless, and he was such a nice guy, like a really nice, great, good guy. And so, the, and they were filming it in um, Michigan, and I live in Chicago, and so he said, will you come just do a little part in this? And I was like, sure. And then I just like drove around the corner and <laughs> went up and shot for a few days and, you know, picked up a really good kitchen chair on the way home. and. It was like super, I was so happy to do it. It was like super chilled. Yeah. It, it follows the Joan Cusack script, it really does. Hey listen, our time has run short, which is, which is unfortunate because we could chill for a little while longer and the newscast would be all the better for it. But thanks for being with us. Congra <laughs> I mean, congrats on the project and I can't wait. wait Liv, was I wrong? Is she you were one of the most absolutely people right. In the world? Yep. Mm -hmm. It is unbelievable. All right, we're going to get back to the mayhem of the Aww. day's news, weather, and traffic. But thanks so much for being with us. Oh, how's the chair working out? Well, thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Nice to be with you.
Real quick, how's the chair working out? It's awesome. Everyone fights over it. It was $35. I got it at this thrift shop, and it's like everyone fights over it because it rocks and swivels and turns. <laughs> husband, Great. Husband and two sons fight over a chair. This, there's a book in here somewhere. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we'll talk to you in a bit, John. Okay. Thanks. Bye-bye. Cool. Very cool. And her brother, by the way, is the exact same. It's like... Oh, really? It's just chill. The whole family. Yeah. Well, I'm here.